Hey there guys, so just want to make a quick video here. Um, I might be a little bit late with this one, but there's a few things I wanted to talk about regarding Anthony Joshua and the heavyweight division. So, no doubt um, you guys have probably seen the interviews, the most recent interviews with Eddie Hearn, where he is very, very insistent that he really wants Anthony Joshua to face Deontay Wilder next. You know, he seems to really want that fight next, and he, you know, has talked about him sending emails to Wilder's team and Wilder's management, and um, he's saying that they won't even respond. He actually said in an interview, and I thought it was kind of funny. He said that, um, you know, I, I would I would prefer it if they'd respond and told me to fuck off or told you know called me a fat cunt and told me to go fuck myself <laughs> rather than just not responding at all because at least then I'd get some idea that they're not interested and you know not leaving us hanging basically and yeah. It, it seems really clear that he wants that fight, and he would much rather Anthony Joshua step in the ring with with Wilder next than take on his mandatory Alexander Povetkin. Now, I wanted to make this video because, you know, Povetkin, he's that one guy in the division right now, that, that one wild card, the guy who, you know, 100% in the back of his mind, he's there to spoil the party. I mean, you've got other guys that, you know, lingering around like Dillian White, um, you know, Jarrell Miller, uh, you know, all these PBC fighters, all these guys that are around, aligned with Eddie Hearn and whatnot, you know, Gerald Washington and all them guys, Dom Dominic Brazil. And the thing about those guys is you get, you kind of get a feeling that those guys are pretty much compromised, or at least I do, you know, you, you, they're involved in that wilder Joshua realm where those guys seem to know and understand and expect and you know they, they seem to expect to be second best you know that they, they seem to know their role they know that they're really not ever going to be champion they know that they're only going to be used as opponents and they're not really going to challenge wilder or joshua for example dominic brazil fought anthony joshua uh, and put in a terrible performance you know ba barely even tried to win and got taken out with ease it was basically a punching bag to make Joshua look good. And, you know, they were trying to build up a wilder Dominic Brazil fight by trying to spark some fake rivalry between them. And you just get the sense that it would be the same situation. He would go in there against Wilder and he would be a punching bag. And, and it's the same with someone like Jarrell Miller. You know, if he goes in against against Wilder or Joshua, you know, anybody in that realm, Dillian White, Jarrell Miller, anybody associated with Al Heyman and Eddie Hearn, because you know who the cash cows are. You know, Anthony Joshua is the cash cow. And Deontay Wilder is that, you know, great American hope that they're trying to build up. And, and they're trying to build that fight between the two of them. And they don't really want anything to get in, in between that. You know, they don't want to get anybody in the way. But in the case of Alexander Povetkin, you get the sense that he genuinely is in the mix to spoil the party. Because... He's not he's not affiliated with Eddie Hearn. He's not affiliated with Al Heyman. He's not affiliated with Tabella or any of these Western promoters and the, these Western organizers. You know, he's a third party man. You know, he's a Russian. He's there to, you know, he's there for the glory. You you don't even get the sense that he's fighting for money. You really get the sense that he wants the best fight possible because he is viciously calling out Anthony Joshua now. His team are doing absolutely everything they can to get that fight that there is no other fight they're even interested in i mean the very reason that they faced david price was so that they could get the joshua fight you know they were hoping that they could fight on that card get a highlight reel knockout win against david price which they did you know in front of the uk fans in order to entice that fight in order to grow the demand for that fight with the uk audience and it was also the same reason that they fought christian hammer because Christian Hammer, for those of you who don't know, he was ranked number one by the WBO. And since Joseph Parker and Anthony Joshua were set to fight, the, the winner of that fight would, of course, hold the WBO. So Alexander Povetkin's fight against Christian Hammer and his fight against David Price were his last two fights. And those fights were specifically to get Anthony Joshua in the ring. You know, that it was clearly by design. that It wasn't an accident that they picked those two guys as the last opponents. So... To me, Anthony Joshua, you know, I don't know if he, I don't think he's scared of Povetkin, but I certainly think Eddie Hearn is reluctant to put Joshua in the ring with Povetkin. And I'm not saying Joshua can't beat Povetkin. He certainly can. 
Joshua certainly has the size, he has the, the punching technique, he has the athleticism, the youth, the energy. I mean, Alexander Povetkin is nearly 39 years old, okay? The guy's approaching his 40s, so... And he's a considerably smaller heavyweight than a lot of the guys that, that Joshua's used to be fighting. I mean, Joshua's fought Klitschko, uh, Joseph Parker, uh, Eric Molina, uh, Dominic Brazil, who I mentioned earlier... Uh, even Charles Martin, all of these guys, I believe, are considerably bigger than Povetkin, who stands at about six foot one. So, you know, I, I think that certainly, obviously, you had Carlos Takan, who's around about the same size as Povetkin. So, obviously, it's a, a difficult ask for Povetkin to go to the UK and defeat somebody so big and so powerful and who's going to throw him around the ring at times. But I do think that Eddie Hearn is a little bit reluctant, just based on, you know, how how experienced Povetkin is and the fact that Povetkin isn't going to take a dive most likely you know he's there to you know he's there to spoil the party he really is and I think Eddie Hearn understands that and that's why he's not too keen he's a little bit reluctant on that fight taking place I think he was hoping that David Price would get Povetkin out of the way he was hoping that Price with his size and with his power would land something and would get would get Povetkin out of the party basically so yeah, I'm just wondering. Do you guys think? Do you guys think that that fight will happen? That Povetkin versus Joshua fight because Povetkin is the mandatory, and I know for a fact from what I've been reading from all these different sources, they are aggressively trying to get that fight. Okay, they're contacting the WBA non-stop to order that fight. They're trying to push for a purse bid. Uh, they really want to fight Anthony Joshua, just like they were aggressively chasing the Deontay Wilder fight a couple of years ago, and that fell through. Alexander Povetkin, I'm telling you, he, he really wants that fight. And, and they have said that they will not fight anybody else until they get Anthony Joshua. And that Anthony Joshua is not allowed to fight anybody else until they fight him. So, yeah, it looks as if he's he's there to spoil the party. And it looks to me like he's really, really insistent on taking that fight. Um, so, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. It's just a quick video. Um, I'm not going to be able to upload this video tonight, so if, if something gets signed by tomorrow morning, because I'm I'm going to be, a, I don't have the internet at the moment, I'm staying somewhere, and um, I won't have it until tomorrow morning, so um, yeah, if, if something happens, like if, if a fight gets signed this after, th this evening, and you know, by the time I upload this video, some, some something might have developed, it might have changed, I don't think so, but just if it has then, then just dismiss what I've said, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this anyway. Thanks for watching.